tonight is a big yeah. night. Okay. We are We're all so excited because it is the season premiere of your new show, NCIS. <laughs> Place in one of the greatest cities in the world. Yes. You actually shoot it there. Yes, we it's do. It's not a soundstage in Hollywood. No. Nope. And I feel like the city really sets the tone for a show. This must set it apart from the other two NCISs. I, I, I think it does. Mm -hmm. um, the city is all about um, music, uh, which I'm a big music guy, so that means so much to me. Mm -hmm. Food, culture, history, mm -hmm. multiculturalism. Yes, yes. yes. And then, and then Foremost, what I've discovered is that it's about surviving. Mm -hmm. And it's about a community that continues to link arms and, and hang on to each other and pick each other up and go to their homes and feed each other and then come back and rebuild it all over again. Mm -hmm. And yes, I, you know, I, I didn't understand that until I, got, until I got down there. I'm from St. Louis, so, which is upriver. Mm -hmm. So I understand yeah. flooding. I understand floods, I understand that river, and I, but I don't, the combination of events okay. down there, it's, uh, unless you're there, you just don't, you don't get it. And I'm, I'm astounded by their, their perseverance and their, you know, their joie de vivre, their, their love of life. We're a part of that. Yeah. Yeah. We're a part of that fabric. Your character is based on... I'm sorry, wait, what? what? Your, <laughs> your character is based on Dwayne Swear, a real former chief of the New Orleans Naval Criminal Investigative Service Office. What was it like to meet him? How'd you get that short straw? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's awesome. He's our technical advisor. He's like the biggest champion of the show. Uh -huh. He's like a, he's a raw, raw kind of a guy. I met him back in February. He's semi-retired. If a good case comes along, if a hand washes up on a beach next to a couple walking by itself, just a hand, he's like, I'll, I'll get involved in that case because he loves to do that. He loves his job. He loves the people there. He doesn't care about the rules. Um, he's one of those guys that he's just, larger than life. He, he yeah. is, yeah. he is, and he is, and he's, uh, he's, you know. But he'll send me a text. He's like, "Can't wait till you get down, brother. We're gonna do this and this, and we're gonna. Be, I gotta take you out and get you around my city, and got to eat here, and we gotta do this." And it's like, "Okay, I gotta work for." <laughs> yeah, that too, that too. Yeah. Yeah. There is work.